Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our BDD Cucumber series, so far we have discussed about introduction to BDD, Cucumber, different features and we discussed about reporting as well. In case you haven't uh, looked into the, these videos, I'll request you to please go back to the playlist and look at those videos and then come step by step. It will help you gain more understanding. Okay. So in today's uh, discussion, what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss about how to club two test cases or how to run a particular test cases with different set of data using Cucumber feature, which is possible through scenario outlet. Okay. So let me jump onto the code side. So uh, what I have done in this case, if you look at this particular case, so last time what we were doing, we were using this we were entering the credentials using data table. Uh, so to make it uh, more clear what I'm going to do, I have converted this in the form of very simple language. So data table, you will be able to understand when we will discuss it in the next lecture. Okay, then I'll be using it with the data table. Okay, I'll convert this particular scenario outline case into data table form. Okay, so now what I have done instead of using this data table, which is which looks complicated as, as of now, what I've done, I have replaced this particular line with this particular line, right? I mean, line number 17, I have replaced with line number 26. So if you look at it, what I have done, I have replaced the data table part with the two variables, string username and string password. Okay. So, and I'm using rest of the code, same as it is, I'm finding the username and entering username. Likewise, I'm finding password element and entering password correct so if you look at it i have two scenarios now validate login functionality with valid credentials and validate login functionality with an invalid credentials so if you look at it all these four steps are common right between these two test cases only difference is this particular password right which is valid in this case and invalid in this case so how we can club this uh, like test case because these two test cases are common only difference is data set right which is a normal scenario in industry now what i'm going to do i'm going to replace it with scenario outline so we need to use this particular keyword scenario outline as soon as we enter scenario outline we need to simply use examples okay so just for now remember the syntax now what i'm going to do i'm going to provide username right and then password right so username and password because i am going to use this username and password across the test cases right so i need first valid username case so what i'm going to do i have entered valid username and similarly i have added added valid password i need second data set as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to again copy this username right and now i'm going to provide invalid password correct so now I'm going to format it. So the next step is I'm going to copy this particular line of code and keep it like here, right? When we will keep it here, then what will happen? So the next step is I'll have to give it some name, validate login functionality, right? I have replaced everything with scenario, uh, two scenarios with scenario outline. So now the question would be how this username will be read from this examples okay as of now if you look this is highlighted and this is getting used so now what we need to do we need to simply use angle brackets in both the cases i'm just simply going to use it uh, then what i'm going to do i need to copy this username and replace it with username okay so if you look at it as soon as i used username uh, it converted this into uh, highlighted this i mean and similarly for password also let me do it for password i am going to do it for password now and as soon as we entered password this particular text is also highlighted now what will happen this particular four steps will execute for this step first this data first and then for this second data right now the next step is how to run it scenario outline example right i am going to give it some name right so when i have given some name and I'm now going to comment this particular section because this is of no use for now, right? Because I'm going to execute my test cases in scenario outline. Now I'm going to copy this tag, going to runner part and simply 
I am replacing it with this particular example right now what I'm going to do I'm going to trigger it okay so meanwhile uh, it takes some time in execution I request you to please like share and subscribe to my channel so that we can reach to the maximum population and maximum people right now if you will observe it validated login functionality one right and now it will enter a valid username valid password and it is it verified products right likewise it opened second instance as well wherein it opens host lab and now it entered username and this time it is invalid password okay so let us jump to the code part so we will see one test case code passed which was the first test case and the second test case is invalid password so wherein what we got we got some products issue right because if you notice this login dot feature here only we were unable to uh, because we were unable to click on the login right we, we clicked on login but we were unable to uh, login into the application right so that's why those so next step was to validate the products so it is unable to locate that particular element so this is how we can use scenario outline to club two test cases or to run a particular test cases with multiple data set right so this is it for now thank you for watching Stay tuned for more such videos.